Shalom. Before I get this lesson started, all praises, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakah, Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, elder bishops, at the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Ireland to begin imprisoning YouTubers who push quote unquote misinformation. And when you see in today's time that there's a war on the truth on independent media, you know that a liar is in charge. And who is that liar? That liar is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Job 9 and 24 says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. <clears throat> so these wicked and unrighteous decrees, Isaiah 10 and 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and their right grievousness, which they prescribe. This is talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All over the earth, he's putting his unrighteous laws into place to benefit his own wicked agenda. And this further goes into what is described in the book of Amos 8 and verse 11. We've been bringing it out a lot recently, but I'll go again. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai. So this is what the powers that be, the rulers, this is what they're looking to do. And you also had BG, Kill Gates, he came out and said that AI is going to make all independent media obsolete. So there's a clear hardcore war on the truth because these devils, they're losing the information war. There's too much information that's out here that are coming out from sources that are not controlled by them. CNN, Fox News, um, you know, Sky Network, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's an increase of people that do not trust these mainstream platforms because all they do is push lies, all they do is push propaganda and falsehood, and people are tired of it. They want to know what's really going on. So now they're going to more reliable and more trustworthy news sources, which now has become the underground media. So this is why you see this in the headlines, okay? And this is coming to America. They're about to put these things in place here very soon, but they're starting in these uh, smaller Western nations, okay? And this is gonna give rise to civil war, all right? Because once people see that their rights are truly being infringed upon, that they can't speak freely, that they can't express themselves you know, that's pretty much a big sign that all of your other rights are about to be stripped away, too. The Irish government has announced plans to begin arresting YouTubers and other online influencers who push, Salaki, who publish so-called misinformation online. Now, what is misinformation to them? You would assume that misinformation entails something that is not the truth. But you're pushing it as the truth. Well, to them, misinformation is the truth, but they want you to believe that it's a lie. This is what misinformation is to them. Remember back during the CV19 uh, lockdown, they was they was going in hard on that misinformation campaign. You know, anything that uh, anything people was bringing out that was anti snake venom, they shot that down real quick. Okay, a, lot, a lot of brothers' pages got shut down during that time because of uh, the information that we was bringing out. Well, how much more so now? After the C1, after the CV19, when uh, millions of people have uh, succumbed to that, you know, and many more are injured, severely disfigured, how much more now that the evidence is, is overwhelming? You even now have members of the CDC that are releasing uh, documents, which they've, they've always known. They've always had this information, but the damage has already been done. So now they can give you the truth. Okay, Now they can tell you that, oh, this snake venom, you know, you know, we were uh, miscalculated 
on our beliefs and you know we didn't take enough research this that the third but it doesn't matter now because your ass is about to go back to the spirit world they already made their money and they're also achieving their agenda of depopulation by those means so this is what they're trying to stop they're trying to stop the truth but the scriptures say that you can do nothing against the truth but only for the truth so the more that you even try to censor and speak on these things that only gives more credence to the fact that what these people are saying is is right and exact and that what you've been pushing is a lie that's why you're trying to censor the truth now the wef controlled nation of ireland is working to introduce the irish online safety code inspired by the uk's online safety act the new law will give authorities the power to punish online video platforms and creators that publish content that quote indirectly leads to harm now who are they to uh you know deem information uh, harmful or, or you know who, who are these people to say that it would indirectly lead to harm and see that's really them trying to control the narrative oh no you don't need to listen to this information because it can be damaging you know or it can lead people down the wrong path well what the hell have these devils been doing the whole time they've been lying to people for centuries now that the truth is starting to come out against them they're backed into a corner and what happens when you back a cat into a corner and he feels as though he has no other option well he gonna hunch his back he gonna hiss at you and then if you don't stop he gonna attack you okay so you know this is the this is the attack that these devils are laying on and, and right now they just doing this through laws but very soon they about to start putting hands on people see they about to start coming to your house kicking in your door and throwing your ass in the clink if you don't stop spreading truth this is the time that we coming into so check this out one of the ways such harm would be interpreted is even if a video does not contain content of the kind comments to it are branded as hateful in other words it's a platform liability for third-party content the regulation would treat it as indissociable from user-generated videos one of the consequences is absurd as free speech ireland notes to protect themselves video platforms would have to censor user content that is not even regarded as harmful under the code so they're not even following their own laws this is why the scriptures say that the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment how is it that you can put laws on the books trying to establish certain things, but then when it comes to you actually following your own laws that you set up, you disregard it in favor of your wicked agenda? So this is why we say that these people must be taken out of power, okay? Because if, if uh, it was left up to them, we wouldn't even live in reality no more. Everybody would have a VR headset, you would eat, in a virtual reality you would sleep in virtual reality you would live in a virtual reality world you have a fake name fake car you know they want to control the earth while you 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 just live in some bugged out other dimension you know this is what they want and this is what they're moving into this is why the whole thing of uh you know transformerism and men are women and women are men and all you know what i'm saying all that goes into it man okay all that goes into taking you out of what is the truth and what is false okay what is what is righteous and what is wicked they're they're you know they've been trying to distort that for a long time the rules if adopted would be enforced by a regulator known in irish as cnm media commission Free Speech Ireland explains that CNAM has received the blessing to introduce the regulation both from the Irish government and the EU. Age verification is also baked into the plans. The targeted sites known as video sharing platform services include YouTube X, formerly known as Twitter, and Facebook. And this particular regulation is supposed to be enforced only in ireland and it's not going to be only there 
It may start in Ireland, then it's going to spread to the UK. Then it's, it's going to be uh, mandated in main, uh, you know, Europe, mainland Europe, and then America, and then worldwide. Because why? Why are they doing these things? Because the world, okay, don't get it twisted. Just because you might see all these leaders gearing up for war, that don't mean that they don't all, they don't all want the same thing. They all want... A digital society that's why the BRICS, they got their digital currency and the west nato and the eu america they they ready to roll out they cbdc's too so they all want the same thing so this is going to be a worldwide push the only difference is you know the people at the top they're warring over who gets what they're warring over who's going to get the biggest portion pretty much you see or what's the fair deal for them? That's what they can't agree on. But they all want the same thing. Don't get it twisted. All right, so that's pretty much for that article. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, you can see that these devils is coming down with it. And they're not going to stop. Because, ultimately, they are prisoners of prophecy. Okay, They have to do what the Lord said they was going to do. Psalms 10 and verse 3. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire... And bless the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. Now, who is the wicked? The wicked is Esau Edom. Okay, he, he rules over the planet Earth. He has the fatness of the earth. He makes the laws. He controls policy. Okay, he says what you can't do and what you can do. And if you buck up against that, he'll bomb you. He'll go to war. He'll demonize you. He'll spread false propaganda against you. He'll destroy your character. Okay, this is what the so-called white man do through the four corners of the earth. Okay, that's why it says through the pride of his countenance. Okay, so because this man is very proud, he has a proud look, he has a proud mindset. He will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. Verse 5, his ways are always grievous. Now, you can't tell me that a decree such as this is not grievous why is it a crime to speak the truth why is it a crime to uh bring out information that people can benefit from well it's a crime because it's against the agenda of the wicked elite thy judgments are far above out of his sight as for all his enemies he puffeth at them and this is a form of esau puffing at his enemies okay how dare you speak the truth how dare you speak against me how dare you speak truth when I've taught you lies? How dare you come up against me? I'm the most high. You should do whatever I tell you to do. This is Esau's mindset. You see? Verse 6, he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places that he murdered the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. So this man has been set up to oppress the Israelites, okay? Even to oppress uh, the poor of his own people. You see? And as it is written again, he, matter of fact, let me, let me grab that. Bear with me one moment. Bear with me one moment, Israel. I believe that's an uh, Ecclesiastes, yeah, Sirach, Sirach 14. I start at Sirach 14 and 4. He that gathereth by defrauding his own soul gathereth for others that shall spend his goods riotously. Verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than, in, than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. Yeah, so that's dealing with Esau Edom, man. Okay. He that is evil to himself, to whom shall he be good? So if you see that he jacking up his own people indiscriminately without a care in the world, how much more for you Israelites, okay? 
How much, how much more for you? This man don't give a damn. Moving on. Okay. Scientists are telling Bill Gates that his uh, genetically modified soil will trigger global famine. Now, we know that these elites, they have an agenda of uh, knocking off, because I believe there's, what, 8, 8 billion people on the planet, so they want to knock off 7.5 and leave 500,000 left. This is a part of their depopulation agenda, which was written on the Georgia Guidestones, which they destroyed. So, more unrighteous decrees, more wickedness from the devil. And, and look who it is, okay? The red man, all right? The true red man, the, 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 the devil that the Bible speaks of, the Edomite, okay? Now, why would you... Why, you see... It's so much to unpack here because this this man, I believe now he's the single biggest owner of U.S. farmland in America. Right. And now he's even genetically modifying the soil. How do you GMO the soil, bro? So, you see. When we talk about or when the scriptures talk about the wicked, this is who is talking about. OK, because, yeah, you got wicked Jake's, you got wicked, you know, the, 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 the other nations are wicked, you see, but they not going to this extent to do things like this. OK, they not going to this degree on a diabolical mission, on a on a, you know, diabolical desire to destroy humanity through genetically modifying the soil, genetically modifying the food, um, injecting you with things that are not. Uh, uh, profitable to your health but instead detrimental um i've seen a report that said that bottled water is a uh, pretty much um you know it, it has a high amount of microplastics in it you see and this all goes into keeping people sick you know having them go through the big pharma and you know this devil man look <laughs> Only only the Lord knows what these people really got going on, man. But, you know, this is just a glimpse into what we can see. GMO soil. But they want that famine, though. OK. And the, and the scriptures speak about famine, you know. But, hey, the Lord is going to bring that famine through the means of the wicked. OK. Because hey, King David said that uh, Esau or, or uh, the wicked, he is the sword of the most high so whenever the most high want to jack somebody up or he wanted to bring something to pass guess what he's going to use his whipping stick he's going to use his rod of correction being that of esau edom to bring these things forth most of the time all right genetically modified soil microbes funded by bill gates could trigger a and i probably should say his name differently because you know how the algorithm is but uh yeah it could trigger a global food shortage According to experts who warn that the push to replace soil with GM soil will destroy the farming industry. And they already know this. They are they're already well aware that these measures that they trying to do is going to destroy the planet. But then they'll tell you that climate change is the biggest threat to humanity when really the biggest threat to humanity is the Edomite. The biggest threat to life on Earth is that of Esau Edom. <clears throat> OK. It's him. But of course, the devil, he's never going to hold himself accountable. He's never going to uh, point the finger at himself and say, uh, hey, you know what? Maybe I should stop doing what I'm doing. Then maybe life on Earth can can uh, flourish. Proverbs 29 and 2. For when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. But when the righteous bear the rule, the people rejoice. So right now, the whole of the earth and everything in it is mourning under the rulership, the vibration of the wicked, okay, which is that of Esau, Edom. This is why, you see, they're saying, oh, yeah, well, if you push these uh, GMO uh, uh, soil, then we're going to have a famine. Many people are going to die. Many people are going to suffer, which is what they want. Gates funder Bayer and his partner, Ginkgo Bioworks are currently swapping out some of the old fossil fuel based agrochemicals for genetically engineered microbes. 
the spread of these GM microbes could contaminate soil on such a vast scale that it could be the end of farming. What did Klaus Schwab say? You will eat the bugs. He wants you to eat bugs. He wants you to eat cockroaches. He wants you to eat uh, crickets and, and grasshoppers, which, you know, crickets and grasshoppers are lawful to eat. But the point is, they don't want you to grow your own crops. Okay, They don't want you to uh, be able to uh, sustain yourself because they understand they need full control. And in order for them to have full control, they got to control everything. Even what you eat, what you buy and sell, what you're able to consume, where you know where you live, what kind of vehicle that you're going to drive or none at all. They got to control all that. Because right now there's a big movement of people. It's called uh, self-sustained farming. Okay, which people are taking land, whether it's in their backyard or they, they buy um, a plot of land you know, where they can grow their own crops or, or raise their own livestock so that they don't have to go to the markets where, they, you know, pretty much all the food is contaminated, which even if you are growing your, your own crops and, and, you know, you're raising your own livestock, that's that's not pure neither. Because, you know, these devils spraying chemtrails in the air, you know, they spreading things in the in the in the atmosphere you know, then the soil is contaminated because the rain is, is, listen, man, this, this is the worst case scenario. See, this is the worst case scenario that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has put us in to be under this devil. This is the most wicked kingdom that has ever existed up, up, upon the earth, man. The rulership of Esau Edom, America. This is the worst, man. At least when we was in ancient Babylon, you know, we wasn't eating no GMO foods, man. You know, when we was in captivity under the Persians and uh, the Medes, we wasn't eating no GMOs. See, we wasn't worrying about air pollution. We ain't have to worry about, uh, you know, cancer and different things of that nature, man. See, the, the, all, all this came about under the rulership of, of uh, the devil, Esau. <clears throat> So yeah, they talking about it's it's an end of farming, which yeah, they don't want you to farm. They don't want you to do for yourself. They don't want you see. They want you to to depend on them, and this goes into the whole fifteen minute cities and everybody having an electric vehicle or you just use a ride share. Listen, why do you think the price of everything is going up? Because Klaus Schwab said, "Well, you shall own nothing and you will be happy." Well, in order for you to own nothing. Instead of buying, you're going to have to rent. So instead of buying, uh, you know, new house, you know, you probably live in an apartment downsize because it's cheaper. In, in this society, even if you do pay off for your house, you, you still don't own it because you still got to pay property tax. <laughs> and for any little infraction, it, it's, it's in the fine print. They, they can come and take your house, man. So, look, this is not our rest, okay? This is not a place where, you know, we we were brought to to, to prosper and, you know, have a, have a, a continuing uh, rest here, man. It is, America ain't it. See, that's why we got to wait on the kingdom to come. And, hey, our salvation is, is nearer than what we believe. All right? Let me get a scripture real quick. Micah 2 and 1 Woe to them that devise Salakia Woe to them that devise iniquity And work evil upon their beds When the morning is light They practice it Because it is in the power of their hand And they covet fields And take them by violence And houses and take them away So they oppress a man in his house Even a man in his heritage Okay and, and you can't tell me That uh you know, GMO soils and making people buy uh, impossible meat, you know, telling people that they're going to eat, uh, <laughs> you know, beetle burgers that, that, you know, that's not oppression, man. You know, you can't tell me that that's not uh, destroying people's heritage, you see. But moving on, FAA is now hiring mentally handicapped people to fly a plane so you see you know this devil he's really hell-bent on uh 
<laughs> you know, he's really hell bent on uh, destroying people, man. Okay, th this is what this man was set up to do. So the Federal Aviation Administration has begun hiring people with severe, severe mental disability. Now, why would you hire someone that has a severe mental disability? And why would you put that person in a, in a position to fly a plane and trusting them with people's lives? Surely that doesn't make sense. Surely that's not a, a sensible thing to do. But this is what you have confusion with the rulership of the devil Esau Edom to help fly and land planes as part of Biden's commitment to diversify the agency so let's say that you do want to diversify wouldn't it make more sense to um, you know maybe hire people of different nationalities or you know um it would, it would make more sense to hire people that are capable of this sad job. Because flying a plane, that's not, you know, you, you, you have to go to school for years, okay, to be able to be a pilot. And for good reason. Because every time that you take a plane off the ground, you know, people are trusting you with their lives. Okay, if something goes wrong, they need to trust you that uh, you're capable enough to land the plane or, you know, to um, handle an, an, an emergency, if so be the case. And um, severe, mentally handicapped people are not in that position to do so. You see? <laughs> this, this is, listen, man, this is complete madness. Huh? The more mentally handicapped you are, the better according to the biden regime and this is the man that people voted for this is this is <laughs> oh man these yo these babylonians is through these babylonians is is, is too through man just just finish <laughs> this place gotta go this place got to go man because yo esau he you know at this point he never did make sense, but but now it's just like, what you know? What the f are are you doing, man? <laughs> the damn devil. We can close out on this. Wef funded lab in UK begins experimenting with deadly disease X. Now, this is a part of that um, deep pop agenda. Okay, this is part of how they're going to knock off 7.5 billion off the planet. Okay. And this is a uh, matter of fact, I ain't even going to really get into it like that because you know how to, how YouTube is. As soon as you say something about gain of, you know what, it, you know what I'm saying? Flag going to pop up, you know? Yeah, but they, they in the lab messing around with this stuff, man. Okay, they they're in the lab concocting new ways to uh uh steal, kill, and to destroy. Okay, which Yahweh Shah said that the the the, uh, the thief, okay, which that thief is a so called white man, Esau, comes not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And this is all you see that this man do. This is all he's done since he's been in rulership: steal, kill, and and destroy. Man, the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, and look who these people are, <laughs> Edomites, see, this is the wicked of the earth, man, and it seems as though the men of the Lord, we're really the only ones calling these people out, man, okay, we're really the only people addressing them by their biblical nationality, okay, everybody can see who's doing these things within the earth, but, but there's no you know, people aren't declaring war on on these people. But when it comes to the quote unquote black, OK, was, you know, we're not black. OK, we're not void of light. You know, we not niggas. We not coons, porch monkeys, spicks or whatever people want to say. OK, we're Hebrew Israelites. OK, we, we descend from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. All right. But when it comes to the Israelites or, oh, hey, you know, 
every, every, everybody got something to say. Every, you know, people scoff and they scorn. They, you know, all, all this stuff, man. Hey, but you know what? It's all good. You know, because at the end of the day, yeah, how about Shmuel is going to justify the true, sincere men that preach this gospel, man? Okay, and and, and all those that uh, you know, walk around speaking leasing, or you know, they they all going to get destroyed along with these Edomites. <clears throat> A new WEF funded lab is open in the UK that will conduct controversial V research for the highly deadly and contagious disease X. Okay, so we ain't really gotta get into it, but uh you already know what this is about, man. See? You already know what this is about. So let me go ahead and get this. We can close out. Daniel eight and twenty five. And through his policy. Also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart. This is him magnifying himself in his heart. OK, when he comes out and he says that there, there's a disease that we don't know of yet, but we can kind of tell you that it's going to kill or destroy billions of people. OK. But he's going to save you from that. Right. He, he's going to save the day and, and, and be the savior from all this hell that he created on the planet Earth. He shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. And we saw this happen big time with the, the CV-19, okay, in, in uh, the name of peace and safety and, you know, all those things, right? Um, millions have, have perished behind that. And, you know, they, they, they haven't uh, re uh, repented of that. The agenda is still ongoing. So this is how this devil get down, man. And, you know, this is why the scriptures say to never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Okay, so just like you might get a, you know, brand new, um, you know, car or something like that. Yeah, when you first get the car, it's going to be shiny. It's going to be glistening. It's going to look good. But after a while, the car going to rust. Okay, it don't matter if it's five years, 10 years, 20 years down the line, eventually that rust is going to show. And that's Esau Edom. All right. He may come and speak smooth words and say, yeah, I want to help you. I want to I want to do this to help you. But really. It's all lies, man. Okay, really, he really wants to destroy you, but he you know, he has to get you to trust him first. Okay, he has to get you to put your guard down so, you know, he can stab you in the back all right and by peace shall destroy many he shall also stand up against the prince of princes which is who yahweh shy okay but what but he shall be broken without hands so all of this stuff that these devils are doing it's all going to come to naught okay because yahweh shy just when they think they're about to uh, accomplish their nwo you know just when they think they're about to uh you know, fulfill their, their enterprise. Matter of fact, let me get that in Job. I'll grab that. That's the spirit. Bear with me one, one moment. Uh, listen, Job, uh, This is uh, Job 20 and verse 22. And it says, In the wick, in the salaki, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Okay? And when that, that word wicked there goes into the laborer. Okay? So, so the common man, the, the common citizen, they're going to realize, hey, uh, these, these leaders, they've been lying to us all along. Okay? They... They, they told us about this disease X, but really they the ones that made it. And they don't, you know, they're the reason why I don't got a family no more. They're the reason why all these people are just dropping dead. See, verse 23, when he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah. The glittering sword cometh out of his gall, 
terrors are upon him. So that's going to be the latter end of Esau Edom. Okay, the Lord going to destroy this man. All right? Because everything that he's doing, he thinks that the Most High don't see him. See, he thinks that the Most High has, you know, turned a blind eye to his wickedness, you know, all, all because uh, the uh, Israelites are under punishment. You know, es Esau think, and it's, it really goes into his pride as well, you know, because he thinks that he is the Most High, that he can do whatever he want to do, and nobody can check him. Well, these devils got a rude awakening coming. So I'm going to go ahead and end this lesson here. Hopefully it was edifying to the Rakakadash. In closing, call Halal, law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakha Kadash. And until next time, Lord willing, Shadowan to the elect.